Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Here is Abdul and today we have another unboxing. This time another addition to the collection. I don't know if it will stay or not, but I bought this watch in the hopes of creating a second modded Casio like this one. I sold my other G-Chocks that I had and I thought this is a nice upgrade. I found an offer around 70 euros online uh, for this uh, G-Shock DW um, B5600G. So this is the basically the classic shape of the G-Shock and with the addition of the Bluetooth which we will go through also in the review video. So basically this will just give you an idea on the watch and I will do a review video where I will cover all the basic functions of the watch. So if you do like this kind of content, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as well for more content. So here we have the module, manual instruction manual, and here we have the watch. I was going to get actually a used one and then the price difference wasn't that big, so I thought I'd just get a new one. And here it is. We have a really nice uh, resin case and strap, see-through as well. You know, I like the see-through. I had the, my see-through one. I like that the case is not too big. So the case is 40, so in diameter, let's see. If we measure it from, from the ex both extremities, it would be around 44. And I think like to like is around maybe 52 thickness is around 12.5 and yeah bracelet here you can see from down i hope it's an 18 millimeter because the strap that i have is 18 millimeter as well and i think it is 18 millimeters that's good so as you can see on the case back we have the information about the watch so the watch has I'll get this much out of the way. So the watch weighs 55 grams on the strap, has the 3509 Casio module, takes the CR2016 um, battery, which lives around about three years. And like I said, you have the basic stuff like 200 meters of water resistance, carbon shock resistance. Um, but the cool thing here is, let me see the light out, the backlight is even better than before time stopwatch timer five times alarm and then you have the watch inverse uh, backlight which i really think and really like it. the only thing i didn't like about the watch are the red readings but when i get the mod uh, part for this watch and i put it on i hope it doesn't clash too much and so let me take this off and show it to you on my 17.1 centimeter wrist and uh, yeah, I think G-Shocks are a cornerstone of watch collecting, I have to say. Like if you're uh, any kind of watch collector, one G-Shock at least in your collection is something that I think is very important. Or at least a Casio, because you had to have a watch for the times where you really need a watch, but you think any kind of mechanical watch or maybe even a quartz, uh, like a normal type of Beater watch won't do, G-Shock will always do. That's something I really like about this G-Shock. And actually it wears really nice on this strap and bracelet. The only thing I don't like is this flap, but I got used to it with this one, I have to say. So I have here the paper, I have the Bluetooth, shock resistance, Bluetooth link. So the idea about the Bluetooth link is that when you link your um, watch to your mobile phone, can set the time to exact um, exact time of the location you are in and then when you travel the time will set itself uh, in the watch as soon as you connect it to the phone another good uh, function is finding your phone so basically you have to press one button and then you find your phone uh, this time I, I do have to see the module uh, uh, maybe here read how to uh, connect it with the Bluetooth but I think it's it should be very easy Anyways, that's about, yeah, the basic stuff about this watch and the unboxing. As I said, I'll keep my first impressions and uh, review of the watch 
so a later video after I wear the watch for a couple of weeks at least and then when the mod, uh, mod part uh, or the mod kit comes I will mod this watch and I will make another video about the modding maybe I'll do a live modding like last time that that was fun and uh, yeah let's see if this watch stays in the collection or not anyways thank you so much for watching and if you do like this content please help us with subscribing the button is here in the middle and you might find two videos on the left and on the right that you might like as well see you in the next one bye bye everybody